either retiring or quitting, the market is saturated with tools. Uh, so there's really no excuse to not buy used tools right now. What up, guys? CP the Tool Addict. Woo! I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you subscribe. I hope you hit that thumbs up for this. I uh, really appreciate those guys giving me a thumbs up. I don't know what I got to do to get these videos seen out further. Maybe share it with your friend. Uh, I feel like uh, I, YouTube is just punishing me to grow at a snail's pace, which is fine, where I see a lot of other people getting big views on stuff so uh if you guys got any suggestions let me know down in that comment box and always look give me a suggestion on something you want to see in the future but today's video today's video is not about my plier drawer <laughs> the pick is kind of relevant but uh if you're wanting to fill up your toolbox with somebody's misfortune you're going to want to stick around because today's video is going to be about buying brand used tools right here i have a picture of some cornwell swivel sockets jnc 4000 ding fries are done ding fries are done i don't know why everything's just got to continue to annoy me today uh precision torque sockets wrenches snap-on wrenches these are bigger bigger ones yeah the bigger end ones and you can get all this is the price on these uh snap-on box wrenches 150 bucks swivel sockets 10 to 19 75 dollars mac these are all sold obviously with a jnc 4000 jump pack 420 dollars guys there is a ton of people we see this box sixteen thousand five hundred dollars i see a ton of guys on youtube talking about you should go buy an icon toolbox you know um the tools are always going to be the priority number one. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, tools are always priority number one. Remember this, okay? I'm going to give you my rules that I guess I really haven't really talked about. But my rules are tools matter more than anything. First of all, get yourself a scan tool. Uh, you know, that's, that's, that's a major component in the tool game now, nowadays. But you don't have to go to Harbor Freight. And you can get yourself some quality stuff. Now, if you're just a DIYer and you're just wanting to have a nice set of tools, this applies to you as well. Uh, avoid going to buy, waste your money on new junk that's not going to be worth as much. I've done a video and showed you the depreciation value of what you're going to get. Nobody pays, re nobody's going to buy your Pittsburgh stuff for even close to what you paid for it. If you, haven't, if you haven't figured that out yet, the, the actual value of those tools is so much less compared to a good tool that you're not making a good investment. And I've tried to explain this a thousand times to people. Maybe I just haven't done it right. But your investment is all about your return on what you're buying. Okay, so let's, let's just use a pair of pliers, except, for example. In fact, let's just go back to my plier drawer. And let's uh, let's poke out. Man, I don't know if I can see them on here or not. Uh, I have a pair of LNC 47 ACFs, the new needle nose pliers, snap-on pliers. I believe they're 65 bucks. And the reason I can I I can remember that because I think I just looked them up. Okay, so that let's just say they're somewhere in there. The LNC 47 ACFs, my favorite pair of pliers. I maybe they're not in there. Somebody might have stole them. Damn it! I've already lost them. Shut the front door. Uh, anyways. LNC 47 ACFs, okay. $65. If you buy those off the truck, and let's say you, you're using them, so on and so forth, uh, I would say that those pliers are easily worth no nothing less than $40. Okay, whereas if you buy, let's say these cheap wire strippers right here, the yellow-handled ones, uh, those things are probably maybe $10, $15. Bucks. They're only worth a dollar. The depreciation value is 90% on those pliers versus the snap-ons, which are not. Okay, so now I'm not saying you have to buy new tools, but here is here is the big thing here. 
you can go to places like Facebook Marketplace. Those snap-on box wrenches, 20 to 24 millimeter, uh, those are probably roughly right around $400. Now, he's selling them for a smoking deal of $150. I would say they're easily still worth uh, double that in all in all retrospects. Now, there's, there's places that you can go on eBay and see this stuff. People are selling this stuff every day. Not only that, the market is so saturated... This whole freaking toolbox, $16,500. Uh, look at all these wrenches. Pliers. Look at all this. Pliers. The market is so saturated with these guys that want to get out of here, get out of the business. You're getting your cordless tools. Now, granted, you got to make a bigger initial investment to buy these. Both your sets of wrenches right there, your offset uh, ratcheting, zero degree offset, mountain wrenches. Look at that. SAE and Symmetric. Lyle di Fuel dis Disconnect Set. Uh, bearing sp uh, Puller Set. These bearing puller sets are absolutely some of the, my favorite. Uh, seal Driver. What do we got? T toolbox. Full of Snap-on Matco and Mac, Mac tools. Various sets. Yada, yada, yada. 16000 Will negotiate on price. Might be willing to trade for partial amount. Let me know what you have. Let me know what you have. Once again, <laughs> a guy that's wanting to get rid of it. Now look at this. A full heavy metal snap-on two-bay toolbox, forty-two fifty. I don't care what anybody says. First of all, they're, they're fools if they try to say that the Icon toolboxes are the same gauge of steel as snap-on. They're not. First of all, Snap-on uses a outer shell of, or uh, they use a 16-gauge uh, uh, drawer size, and uh, excuse me, they give they use 16-gauge uh, drawers or 16-gauge uh, outer shell, and uh, I believe the icons are 20-gauge. I'm pretty for sure. Actually, let's look at. Okay, so they use a. Uh, they claim they use an industry-leading 16-gauge top and outside panels to prevent dents. And then they use an 18-gauge inside panels. Uh, so I'm pretty sure. And then a 14-gauge U-channel. Don't let people manipulate that number of U-channel. That's like a few of the inside frame diameters. And then 2,000-pound rated casters, which... They're not they're not being made the same as Snap-on, okay? And uh, granted, they're cheaper, thirty four hundred ninety nine dollars. There's, no, I mean, I'm not trying to argue that. The drawer layout's terrible. They're only twenty four inches deep. You can get better toolboxes out there for the money, and uh, without a doubt. Uh, my first example is the Extreme toolboxes. I believe is a little bit better, and I think those are. Uh, I don't have the price on this the screenshot but that that toolbox i think when i looked it up was uh 23 or 2800 or something like that there's better toolboxes out there for the money than icon without a doubt you're you're paying for the same box to be made from the same factory so uh and far as i'm concerned when you're looking at icon you you don't you're you don't care about quality that's the thing is you're just wanting a box that looks like a snap-on and you're wanting to save a bunch of money so if you're wanting to save a bunch of money and you're going to go that route, buy a box like this that's made in the same factory. Don't even care about. Uh, but this box right here is built better. It's not riveted on the drawers like the snap or like the icons are. I guarantee you the quality is overall better. I don't know why people they try to do that because so they can get more views on YouTube is is the big deal. But the reality of it is is I'm not here. I don't give a shit if you buy a snap on icon. I don't care what you buy, but I do want you to know the truth when you go to buy it, because that's what it's all about. I'm not here to lie to get views on YouTube. That's that's for that's a fact. If that was if that was the case, I would have clickbaited this a long time ago and said Harbor Freight was awesome, and then pulled in every DIYer in the world and just stroked their ego about Harbor Freight. That's what everybody other YouTuber does, not me. Moving right along, here's another toolbox example full of tools, sockets cordless tools the whole nine yards uh and he's looking for twelve thousand dollars best offer here's another thing uh snap cards i see these snap-on carts all over thousand bucks 
I think an Icon cart is like, what, $800? Uh, why would you not buy a USA-made Snap-on cart? The retail value alone, because of the name, is going to be 10 times better. Uh, you're just getting a better deal. Lot, so many used tools out there. You can go to eBay. Here's another old Matco toolboxes, which are really nice. Uh, and they're, they're, Look at all the tools in this thing. Some ratchets. I apologize for the crude uh, pictures here, but I can't remember what the price was. He was asking for that. Uh, for the Maco box, I want to say that was forty-five hundred. I'm just pulling pictures off of my local Facebook Marketplace. Here's another Snap-on roll cart. He want, he's asking eighty-nine twenty. Now wait till you see all the the tools in here. I apologize about this one being sideways. This is all brand new stuff. There's ratchets, three 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 eighths ratchets, four three eighths ratchets, uh, several quarter inch ratchets, quarter inch sockets, the whole sets. I mean. And then this is a half inch. This must be his half inch drawer. Uh, look at all these sockets in here. All these wrenches right here. And th this tool cart will serve almost anybody. From everything I see in here, this this tool cart will get the job done uh, for ninety percent of the jobs out there. For you know changing parts and whatnot, you you can get some tech stuff done here. Cordless tools. And uh, I guarantee you, all your hammers, pliers, <laughs> I mean, this guy spent a lot of money on this. It's like a starter set. Impact driver, this is a good deal. Snap-on roll cart full of Snap-on Mac, Matco tools, 60% unused, more than a starter set. Cash only $8,500. Instead of going and dropping nine grand on a big Icon toolbox, it's going to be empty because you watched a YouTube video where a guy said... You should buy an Icon toolbox. You know, at the end of the day, you gotta you gotta save your money, invest it the right way, and this is the way to do it. Start off buying used tools is absolutely buying used quality tools is absolutely the best way you can spend your money. Uh, Twenty three hundred dollars for this Snap On toolbox here. This toolbox right here, even. I know it's old, and people will be like, Oh my God, CP, I'm not spending $3,500. Look at the tools in this box. This will get the job done for you. And not only that, I like the cool old boxes, but look at this. You're getting your wrenches. I mean, come on. Sockets. Come on. If you're not willing to buy this stuff for $3,500, this is probably the best deal of the entire deal that I've showed you right now. I mean, look at this. Is that the last one? Yeah, that's the last picture here. Look at this. This is well worth the $3,500 for quality stuff. It, granted, some of it's older, and uh, you know, it's an older toolbox, but uh, you can fix that. You can buy the tools out of there, fix that toolbox up, clean it up, paint it up, probably turn around and resell that toolbox for $1,500 easy, or Better yet, you could probably trade it in on your tool truck and uh, get your tool truck. It'll be like, look, man, I need two grand for this box. Don't, you know? And you got, you literally got, fit, you got way more than $1,500 worth of tools because at the end of the day, the tools are what make you money. So anyways, guys, I, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it gives you some perspective and some reality to some things. I know if you're a you're new tech, this should be a great deal. If you're a tech that's been around for a while and you're looking to expand your tool collection uh so that you can broaden your uh, abilities and whatnot this is another good option or if you're just a guy that's looking to sell some tools uh you know this will give you an idea of what uh what's out what the market is like out there so uh i know this is a little bit different video than i'm normally used to i've had some stuff going on recently i had to make these videos like this so uh it's just something i had to put out there but man guys ebay facebook marketplace i can't tell you enough look at all this stuff that's out there uh it just there's just and not only that techs are i, I should have put this in there earlier but uh techs so many techs are literally it seems to me like now is the best time to buy these tools now you if you want to get good duels deals on tools now is your time to hit up those ebays facebook's pawn shops Get that stuff now, because that's the time to get it. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Remember, like, comment, share, subscribe. Ring that bell. Remember, 
Keep your hands dirty and your money clean. Thanks for watching.